Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is Bullet 95 Rye, coming in at a 46% ABV, 12-year age statement. So this was actually a release that Bullet did a couple years back, and it kind of disappeared off the shelves pretty quickly, and nobody really talked about it again. There's been some rumbles of people going, did this ever come back? And then all of a sudden, here in 2024, they just stealth drop this and go, here, here's some more of it. <laughs> But what we do know about this is pretty straightforward. This is a 95.5 mash bill, so 95% rye, 5% malted barley, coming from MGP. And they've, you know, supposedly have picked out these special barrels for this release, and it's 12 years old. So, you know, I don't know what else I could say about it besides I'm really interested to see how well this comes across, especially because of its price point and age statement. So let's just jump into things. As always, we're gonna be trying two different wings. First wing, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add just a drop of water, see if anything changes up. And as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hang around for a bit, become a member if you'd like. Uh, if you're interested in some other bullet reviews, they'll be linked up above and down below. I do plan on picking up their single malt at some point, I just haven't gotten around to it, but I'm interested to see how they'll do it as well. But I have been more recently been a Rye fan here in 2024. And starting off there about mid-2023, just really falling in love with, with a lot of rye. And I've had the standard bullet rye, and it's decent. It's just definitely I'm interested in a 12-year age statement version. Beautiful dark color on there. Look at that. Great color on there. All right. Let's go for notes. Yeah, that is actually beautiful on the nose. A lot of herbal, medicinal, floral going on here. A lot of spiciness. Not as much dill as the 95.5 rye can bring, but there's a little bit of the dill characteristic going on. No ABV, nothing harsh, no off notes. Nice oak layer going on. A little bit of caramel in there, but the big defining factor here is the rye notes. You're getting the herbal, medicinal, little green grassy, little spice layers galore. Almost rye bread quality going on. Like if you've ever had a loaf of rye bread, you take a big old whiff of it, that's what it reminds me of. It's just really punchy and I love it. The oldest 95.5 rye I've had so far is 10 years and it was partially finished in sherry casks. This is gorgeous. I mean, it's spicy galore, and you just get all that bready, yeasty notes, spice characteristics. That is gorgeous. I love it. I'm excited. Let's go for a taste. Yeah, that is spicy, herbal, medicinal, green grassy. It mimics the nose to a T. But there's also a lot of oakiness in here, uh, pepperiness as well. You get kind of a cracked black peppercorn going on. That floral note that I was getting on the nose comes across in the taste. Great oakiness in here. A little bit of vanilla, the caramels showing up as well here on my next sip. I, I That has no fault in it, in my opinion. It coats to a tea. It doesn't come off. It's too brash or over medicinal, herbal. It's well balanced, well aged. And if they picked specific barrels for this, they did a good job. I can't knock it at all. As you keep sipping it, the rye characteristic shows up more and more on the taste. You get more of that spicy herbal medicinal. If anything, it does get maybe a, just a, a tail bitter here in the mid to late finish. Not that that's a bad thing. It honestly just kind of drives you to take another sip because as soon as you take that sip, you start the ride all over again. If you've had 95.5 rye, this is it. Just cranked up to a beautiful proof point and an age statement that is just phenomenal. It doesn't color outside the lines too much. It just does exactly what it's supposed to do with that mash bill. It's great. Alrighty. Add a little drop of water. See if anything changes up here. A little spillage down the side. Just one little drop in there. There we go. All right. All right, we let that water kind of mix in here just a little bit, so. Let's go for notes. I 
actually very similar, a little bit dialed back. I'd say about 10 to 20% softer than the neat version. And the dill notes do show up a little bit more on the nose. Not overly strong in that though. Still get all those gorgeous herbal, medicinal, floral, the oakiness in there, the spice characteristics, the rye bread, even almost just maybe a little bit of a black tea note. That is nice. Here, very similar, but the big thing I'd say, it definitely dials up a bit more in the spiciness when it comes to the dill notes. Let's go for taste. Yeah, and this taste comes across very similar to that as well. The dill notes do show up a little bit more, but you start getting that herbal, the medicinal, a little bit of floral. Uh, the oakiness isn't quite as strong, but it's still there. The spice characteristics are showing up. Uh, there's a little sweetness character in there, and I don't know if it's a fruit sweetness or more like a chocolatey sweet. Let's go to the neat version here, see if we find that. I think it's a chocolatey sweetness in there, just like a, a small little bit of like a milk chocolate because there it's kind of showing now here in the finish for me that's not half bad that's a, amazing as always it doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it as long as you enjoy it both are fun keep it neat if you can because that is a gorgeous sip so all right let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price and it's always going to vary so i ended up picking this up for 60 dollars and looking around online, I see it priced anywhere between about 55 to 63 ish dollars. Buy it. If you like 95.5 rye, this is your this is your answer to an amazing sip. It doesn't paint outside the lines. It brings you all the characteristics you want in that mash bill: herbal, medicinal, floral, that little bit of dill, the oaky layers are in there. And to me, because of that age statement, those oaky layers come across even stronger. And I like that. I like an oak here whiskey personally. The spice characteristics really drive this home and cause it to go to another level. And for $60, I, I, I'm just shocked. Just coming from anybody at $60 with a 12 year age statement is a big kind of middle finger to everybody else releasing stuff. Yes, it is sourced, but in today's market, that would have gone for double the price for a lot of places. So for my personal opinion, if you like rye whiskey or you like MGP's 95.5 rye mash bill, this is for you. Grab it, put it on the shelf. Heck, I maybe even bunker one just because who knows if this is going to be shelf stable or how long it's going to be out there and about at that price point. Either way, get it. It's exactly what it's meant to be in that bottle. Proud though on that one. So there you have it, folks. Bullet 95 rye straight rye whiskey. If you have any questions about the bottle itself, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should go looking for, also let me know down below. Love doing these reviews and sharing with you the experience at home. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one. You know, I really like it might.